Hey everybody, Toby Milroy here again, Vice President for AMS, and today I wanted to walk through a brand new feature with you called the change agreement. Uh, and, and a change agreement is an easy way for you to make changes to an agreement without it without affecting its status, whether it's a, an original agreement, a regular enrollment, a trial agreement, or an upgrade like a, a leadership or black belt club. And here's what I mean by that. You'll see in Atlas Martial Arts Software, we approach your statistics pretty carefully. And one of the, as you'll see on the dashboard, we track both the agreement status, meaning the status of contracts in your system, and also students somewhat separately, right? So for example, you may have three or four students on any one particular agreement. So you want to be able to track the statistics on that somewhat separately, right? You want to know how many students were in class this week, how many students are C students. You don't really care which agreement they're on, right? But in some cases, you want to know how many active agreements I have, how many ending agreements do I have, how many expired agreements, etc., etc., right? So uh, you want to make sure uh, so we do track that separately for you. And something else that we do in our statistics is we track separately our trial trial agreements, our new students' enrollments, and then also people who upgrade to a new program. And up until now, the only way you could make a change to an agreement would be to either upgrade it or renew it. Well, we now have a new feature called the change agreement. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my uh, agreement section over here. I'm going to look at agreements and buyers. And I'm going to pick, for example, Mark Ames here. And Mark Ames has a regular agreement. It looks like it ends next year uh, for $2,400, and it's uh, agreement number this, right? And uh, let's say, for example, I just made this agreement, or I noticed that maybe I spelled Mark's name wrong, or perhaps I didn't really want this to end on 810. Maybe uh, they were gone for a month during the summertime and I wanted to give them an extra month on the end of their agreement. Or maybe I wanted to shorten their agreement by a month or whatever it is that I wanted to do. In the past, the only way that you could do that inside of our inside of Atlas was would be either to upgrade that agreement, which would replace this current agreement and add a, and add a, and add a new one basically, but replace the current one. Or you could renew this agreement, which would add another agreement but wouldn't touch the current one. Well, uh, those are both viable options. You want to be able to do both of those things, right? You want to be able to either replace it or to add a new agreement. But it, in some cases, all you want to do is change the current agreement. You don't want to make it look like an upgrade. You don't want to make it look like a renewal. You just want to change something about it. And you don't want that to count in your statistics differently. So now we have the feature called change agreement. So if you click that change agreement button, you'll be taken to that agreement, basically, and you'll see that it says right here, you are modifying an, an, an existing agreement. Uh, that means you're fundamentally changing the agreement that you're working on here. And we're going to walk you through step by step through this new agreement form wizard, each uh, section of the agreement so that you can make the change that you're looking for. So let's say, for example, this was a regular agreement, and maybe um, I accidentally made it a block-based agreement, but I really want it to be a term-based agreement. So I can just change that here. I'll change it to term-based. And then as I as I walk through uh, um, the rest of my stages, I'm given the option to use the original agreement information, or I can change anything else that I'd like to. So again, the student's going to be filled in for me. If I want to change something, I can do that. Uh, but I'm just kind of stepping through the agreement so that I can pick any of the changes that I want to make. Maybe instead of a one-time payment, now maybe they want to make a couple of payments on the agreement or something like that. So now I can um, I can uh, fill out those differences and then basically move myself through the agreement stage. Oh, I guess I can use those uh, original terms as well. And then basically sign the new agreement. Doesn't have to be signed. You know, you're just making a change to what's currently here. And hit finish. And now you've made that change permanently. So now when I go back to Mark Ames, da 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 you'll see here that I have the new terms, right? So this is, uh, I zeroed out his payments as I was there just to make a change, right? So you'll, you'll, you'll see that that's a very, very useful tool for you now moving forward um, so that instead of um, flagging an agreement as an upgrade or as a renewal, now you can just make the change. Again, keep in mind that a change to an agreement will not affect your statistics on the dashboard. So if you have a current person who's a trial, and you make a change to that agreement, there's still going to be a trial. If you if you you know have someone who's enrolled and you make a change like a date or something like that, they're not going to count as an upgrade. They're going to count just as just the same way they did before.
So I hope that's useful for you. I know it's a cool tool that uh, a lot of our uh, statistic-minded folks uh, are going to really enjoy and appreciate the fact that those changes to those agreements won't affect your statistics any anymore. So thanks again so much. I appreciate it. We'll speak again soon.